we we listen to them. We go out uh, meeting people, building that relationship, building that trust. The phrase is uh, under promise and over deliver, but we always try to go above and beyond for every customer. Welcome to this episode of Fireside Chat. In this candid roundtable, the team reflects on the early days, the challenges, and the customer-first approach that has driven our success for over two decades. Yeah. One of our first consigners was Mike, because he went yeah. home to the farm. Sold my Pontiac on the uh, on Purple Leg. <laughs> That's how it all started. Awesome. And then 10 years later, yep. approximately 10 years later, I was one of our other friends who said, hey, maybe Mike Brown's gonna come around. Well, I can't, that can't be true. And he said, I'll do anything but sell. I don't want to be a salesman. So I says, okay. We kind of tricked him into taking the territory. And uh, after that territory was top producer for a few years, he came back to Manhattan to help everybody learn not to sell too, take care of your clients and customers, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the, I guess, the misconceptions I had uh, when, you, when you hear the word salesman, or at least in the past, when I heard the word salesman, I always thought of that high pressure salesman. And that's not what, that's not <laughs> what a TM is. That's not what a salesperson really is. It's just finding out what the customer needs and taking care of what the customer, you know, taking care of their needs. Say more about the difference between a territory manager and a traditional salesperson. Uh, when I think of a traditional salesperson, uh, you're, you're sitting in the office and you're waiting on them to kind of come to you. And when they do, you figure out what they need and you, you, you take care of them and you almost, you, uh, in some cases, maybe want to try to trick them into, uh, into doing, doing what you want them to do. That's not who we are. That's not what we do. Um, and, and Bob can, can answer this as well. We, we listen to them. We go out, number one, we're out uh, meeting people, building that relationship, building that trust. We sit down, we listen to them, uh, trying to get a good understanding of what their needs are, buying or selling, doesn't matter. In some cases, we're a perfect fit. In some cases, we have, might have to make a few adjustments uh, or changes to make it work, and, and in other cases, we, we're not a fit. There's no pressure though. Uh, that's what I, uh, we have a great product, it's, it's easy to be a salesman when you have a great product, it's easy to sell. And, and that's really what it is. It's, it's customer service. I, I, could be in, I could be in York department, um, you know, in the customer service department, because that's really what we all are. Your uh, statement, you know, years ago that you didn't want to be a salesman, mm -hmm. like that was one of the things I always liked about you. I feel like I've taken the same approach and that it's just about serving people yeah. and sales techniques and strategy maybe. Yeah. I feel like the you know, the, the straightest line between us and our success is just desire to serve the public in right. what we do. And that was always your yep. your temperament. Right. But I felt like we were kind of the same guy in that regard. Yep, the phrase is uh, under promise and over deliver, but we always tried to go above and beyond for every customer. There were some uh, late nights and long weekends that was out working to try and make sure we were taking care of, of everybody that, that we could. And that, that hasn't changed today. Yeah. Guys are still doing that. 